have to do is hold hands and sing cheerful songs of unity. And you want to trample over everyone with your own ideas of right and wrong. Just go back to your room like a good little girl. I won't wait for Creon's orders. I will bury our brother. I will die breaking Creon's law, and I will go to my grave innocent in the eyes of the gods. <laughs> but you, Ismene, you dishonor the love you say you have for our brother. I am not dishonoring my brother. I can't help him. Burying him will only make Creon angry, make everyone angry. What a pathetic excuse. All right then, I'll go alone. Antigone, please. You can't protect me, Ismene. <laughs> You're not even strong enough to stand up to me. That's not fair, Antigone. I just want the war and the fighting and the hatred to be over. You just want to start it all up again. You can't believe the gods would want that. Very well then. If you have to do this, then keep quiet. Bury our brother and keep quiet. The gods will be satisfied. Creon will never know. You just have to keep quiet. Keep and then quiet? What a disgusting way of honoring the gods. You never stop to think. I have to do what I think is right. Even if it causes war. Yes. Your death. Yes. My death? Yes. I see. How wonderful for you. You are so much stronger in your righteousness than I am in my fear. There are other ways to honor our brother, Antigone. What if we went to Creon, told him how you feel, how you think the people might feel? Stop, Ismene! Stop nagging me! I will not go begging to Creon to do what I think is right. I will bury our brother alone. I will face Creon alone. And knowing I am doing the right thing, I will die alone. Oh, Antigone. Before you decide, please stop and think about what I've said. And remember, I, I do love you. I love you too, Miss Mady. But you're too late. I have already buried our brother. And I will go to the battlefield every day to make sure he stays buried. This is the last chapter of the story of Oedipus. Our father, our brother, Oedipus had died. We heard of the dispute between our brothers, Paul and Isaeus and Antiochus. We hurried back from Polonus, hoping to mediate our brother's dispute. But before the sisters arrived, the two brothers met each other on the battlefield and drew weapons against each other. Our, our brothers killed each other. The battlefield is still stacked with bodies. The people cry out for peace and security. They just want an end to all the anger, hatred, and civil strife. And, and now, Creon is king. Creon must rule Thebes and bring an end to this terrible civil war. A, A king, king cannot, cannot always wait on the whims of the gods. Action must be taken now. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. The storm of war that has torn our home apart is now over. We can now begin to mend the wounds of this civil strife. Today, the sons of Oedipus have fallen on the battlefield, killing each other, stained with each other's blood. I remember how steadfast and loyal you were during the troubles after Oedipus' death. How you were loyal to his sons as we attempted to work out a solution to their double claim to the throne. As their closest kin, I have stepped forward to take on the task. I take on the task of healing this land. I remember how steadfast and loyal you were during the troubles after Oedipus' death. How you were loyal to his sons as we attempted to work out a solution to their double claim to the throne. As their closest kin, I have stepped forward to take on the burden of this throne, and I take on the task of healing this land. I thank you humbly for the loyalty you have shown my family and will now show me. I vow to take whatever actions necessary, no matter how unpopular those might be with some, to heal this land. Therefore, I decree the following. The Tiacles who died defending Thebes shall be buried with every honor, crowned with every ritual that is deserved of a noble fallen hero, but for Paul and Nicias, who came out of exile, bringing foreign armies against us, I proclaim to you that his citizenship with Thebes is revoked. It is revoked by him bringing foreign armies in war, and is revoked by my decree. No one is allowed to mourn his death nor bury him. If anyone is to do so, he will be held as a traitor, and will die a traitor's death. I charge you all to be the guardians of this mandate, and now once again let us unite and take on the task of healing this land. What is it?
Pull Pull yourself together, soldier. Private help on my leash. I ran as fast as I could. I'm not that fast. Slightly out of shape, I'm sorry to say. But I ran as fast as I could to get here. I almost turned around lots of times, but sort of slowed me down. I kept saying, you idiot. Oh, not you, sir. I'm, I'm talking about me. I was calling myself an idiot and just continue. Well, it's hard to just spit out such terrible news, sir. I wish I could just blurt it out and get gone. Then blurt it out. You're wasting my time. OK. Well, this is it, sir. Um, you see, the body. Someone has <laughs> given it burial. And then he, the barrier, not, not the body, just disappeared. What do you say? Who buried the body? I don't know, sir. You see, there was no real evidence. Just dust over the body, sir. You see, I was out there patrolling, and all of a sudden I turned around, and there it was. The body was covered, the head and the face. I mean, not enough to really be called buried, but enough to be a baron's funeral. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean anything. Continue with your report. Anyways, we, I started yelling, I didn't do it, and everybody else started yelling, I didn't, I didn't do it. it. You yeah. must be the I didn't everybody everyone else around until one by one we swore to the gods we all denied being the one and so we started looking around searching for evidence or footprints or anything really and it got real hot out there sir so we all pretty much fell over <laughs> and then I had the idea that someone should really come tell you and the other soldiers agreed and said that since it was my idea <laughs> I should be the one to come tell you so here I am, <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm worried, sir. Um, being the bearer of bad news and all, sir, um, there was no trace, sir. Do you think it could have been the work of the gods? You, you idiot! idiot! Do you think the gods came down to sprinkle a little dust on the corpse of a tree citizen man? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. I. Do you think the gods came down from the heavens to honor a man who attacked their city, burned their temples, and burned their shrines? No, no sir. sir. Really? I no! no. Not an action of the gods. gods! Ever since I took charge of this emergency, someone has been undermining my authority. So, uh, it's like a political thing? You think someone's setting you up? Find me the man who did it, or I will hit you for the crime. Yes, sir. Wait, me, sir? You are by the body. Find me the man who did it, or you will be the one I hang. Permission to speak freely, sir? I'm not the guy who buried the body. You were by the body. The body was buried. A swift military, military tribunal of my problems are solved. But, sir... Find me the man who did it, or I will hit you for the crime. I'm just trying to do my job. He has to keep thieves from falling into civil war again. Order has to be restored. Don't you mean your order has to be restored? He is the king! Please, must, must we, we fight, fight amongst ourselves? Antigone will be caught. It is only a matter of time. We are he just wants justice and stability. Are you sure? He has to tell the people what to do so they won't panic or start up any more trouble. By proclaiming laws that offend the gods? How can restoring the peace offend the gods? Antigone has been caught. So soon? We found her! Well, really, I found her. Where exactly did you find her? Right by the body. Was anyone else there with you? Did anyone else see her there? No, sir. It was just me. You see, I, I left the pier after you said I returned to the battlefield, and I sat down after sweeping all the dust off, sir, and the body was in plain sight, sir, when all of a sudden a dust storm blew up in my face. Okay? And, and not a little dust devil, sir, mind you. It lasted at least ten minutes. Anyways, when it was over and I was done sweeping all the dust and the sand out of my eyes, I looked up and there she was, cursing up a blue streak. She was scraping at the dirt around the body and dumping it on the head. But I rushed up and I grabbed her and I said, what do you think you're doing? She just went on and on about being obligated, said I had no right. And then I asked her if she was the one who buried the body this morning and she said, right out, clearly, sir. Yes, it was I. I felt bad that it was just this little girl, but <laughs> I'm glad I'm off the hook. <laughs> Answer my question. Yes, sir. 
What was the question? Was there anyone else there with you? Did anyone else see her there? No, sir. It was, it was just me. Do you deny these charges? No. And you were on the battlefield? Yes. You were attempting to bury the body? I make no denial. You're dismissed. Just a moment, soldier. Not one word to anyone I have your head. Do you understand? I don't know if you talk. Did you not hear the orders prohibiting the burial? I heard it. You made it very public. So you thought you could just walk out of the palace and you could break the walls of Thebes? Yes. But what right do you presume to hold yourself above the law? Your law. I'm obligated to follow the laws of the gods. You are not a god. So now you presume to know the will of the gods? Their will? No. Their laws? Yes. <laughs> and you presume to judge me. I'll be judged by the gods, not you. This girl is passionate to her unfortunate father. She doesn't know enough to keep herself out of trouble. You're such a stubborn child. You stand there knowing you're caught, yet you try to make the crime into something glorious. If I'm guilty of a crime, then kill me. I may have to do that. What are you waiting for? You are the king. I have admitted to everything. Now do something about it. Kings have the power to do and say whatever they want. I have the power to protect my people, Antigone. <laughs> the people want an end to war. They want peace. Look around you. Why is no one here? Why is no one stepped forward to honor your treasonous brother? No one seems to share your viewpoint. Many others share my viewpoint. They're just too afraid to show it. Stand down, Antigone. Sit down. Aren't you ashamed to be all alone in this? No. There's nothing shameful in honoring my brother. Was it not a brother too that died with the opposite cause? Brothers by the same mother and, and the same father. Don't you think that Teocles will be angry you honor the man who killed him? Both of them were my brothers! You are treating them both equally. They cannot have both been in the right. I don't care who is right or wrong. They were both equally my brother. I will honor them both. Paul and Isis brought an outside army to Thebes. Eteocles died defending Thebes. The gods require a funeral ceremony for the dead. Do you think that both of my brothers are dead? Do you think that's fair? I don't think that Tiefles would want to be held in the same regard as his enemy. Not his enemy, his brother! I don't presume to know how the gods will judge either of them. An enemy is never a brother, not even in death. I don't see either one of them as my enemy. They were both equally my brother. I will honor them equally. Even if that means you have to die? Everybody has to die. Aren't you afraid to die? I believe I made the right decision. And I acted on it. I'm not afraid to die. Then you'll die. Ismania is coming. She will try to interfere. Creon, uncle, no, please, wait. Ah, uh, Ismania, are you here to step forward to honor your treasonous brother? He's just going to stand there and cry. I will admit I shared in Antigone's actions. No! I am just as guilty. I went out to the battlefield. No, you did not go out to the battlefield with me. You were scared to go with me. No, Antigone, let me stand by your side now. You were ashamed to stand by my side when I needed you most. It's easy to say the words, as Esmene. No, Antigone, listen. I was afraid, but I'm not anymore. Let me stand by your side now and honor our brothers. Let my death honor our brothers. You can't claim honor for something you did not do. I was only trying to protect you. Save yourself, Esmene. I won't hold it against you. Your choice was to live, mine to die. Uncle, please! Stop it, Ismene. Antigone is guilty. But what about Haman? They were supposed to get married. There are plenty of other women for him to choose from. But he loves her. He'll learn to love someone new. Arrest Antigone and take Ismene back to her until she gets over her hysteria. It's not over, Creon. Others will take my place. It's over for you, Antigone. I can deal with the others later. You would really kill this girl for a youthful mistake? You would deprive your son of the girl he loves? She has broken the law. The law I proclaimed that the fighting would stop. You are determined to have her executed? She has broken the law I have stopped. Order has to be restored. 
You can't dictate someone's conscience with a law. That's not what I was trying to do. What, what were you trying to do? Polynices brought a foreign army in. Eteocles died defending Thebes. Do not rush forward with your laws and trample the laws of the gods. I can't wait for the gods. Your son is coming. I'm not, not sure he will understand. Well, Haven, do I have your permission to rule Thebes as I think necessary? You don't need my permission, Father. Then why have you come here? You've arrested Antigone. Why? She has committed treason. Don't let your emotions give away of understanding what's going on here. I'm sure Antigone didn't intend to defy you or start a new rebellion. Let me talk to her. I'm sure that I can- No! You will listen to me, my loyal son. We must stand firm in our decision or we will lose the ability to bring peace back. Are you sure this will bring peace, Father? Maybe we should take a step back to take a little time to think this through. The battle has just ended. Decisions have to be made now. Law and order has to be restored. But we can't ignore the needs of the people. The needs of the people? Antigone is the only one arrested. The only one who broke the law. The only one who was found by the body. But the people love her. I love her. Yes, she is acting emotionally. She has just lost both her brothers. Couldn't she try to understand? Try to see that she was only trying to... Trying, trying to, to what? what? Father, you can't do this. I, I can, can and I, I will. will. She has been found guilty. She is an adult. I condemned her in front of my people, and I will not make myself a liar in front of my people. She will die. Or would you rather me weep and cry over the unfairness of all, bringing my hands together, wipe away my tears, and I show favoritism to a member of the family, to your fiance? Not favoritism, Father Mercy! Father, I'm thinking of you as well. Of me? me? You need the people on your side. They call for Antigone. No woman, they say, has ever deserved her fate less. They say her deeds were glorious. Yes, glorious deeds to honor the dead, to honor her family. No one is calling it treason because they see it as the actions of a young woman performing one last act of honor to her family and to the gods. No one is accusing her of treason towards Thebes or towards you, father. You're angry, I understand. But your authority as king also gives you the power to be merciful. That sounds reasonable to us. Listen to him, Creon. Change your mind. I have learned it's better to listen to others who may be wiser or more informed. Wiser? You? You are the one who taught me to think carefully before I judge. Did I teach you to take the sides of treasonous criminals? You know I would not take the side of a criminal. Isn't it taking a criminal? She has admitted to breaking the law. But the people of Thebes are saying that she is not a criminal, that she... So now the law tells the king how to rule. Should I have a Paul take a vote on every big or small issue until we're bogged down in the bureaucracy of governing? The Should I rule this land by any other judgment than my own? The city doesn't belong to only you. Isn't the care of the city the responsibility of the ruler? You're not using your mind, Henry. You're infatuated with Antigone. Yes, I love Antigone. <laughs> ah, there speaks the young, stricken man. The city's been torn apart by civil war, Haman. People need to see that order's been restored. But you don't care. You love Antigone. You don't care about thieves. You don't care about the law. Aren't you a little bit ashamed of what she's done? Uh, Father, it's not just a matter of whether I'm offended or you are offended. I'm doing my job, Haman. A king has to make tough decisions. A king cannot let his emotions take control and wring his hands together and act like some lovesick schoolboy. It's a very simple problem. Eteocles died defending thieves. Eteocles is a hero. Paul and Isis brought an army against us, and Paul and Isis is a traitor. And traitors are left to rot on the battlefield. That is the law. Not the gods' laws! Enough, Haman! You will not marry Antigone, at least not on this side of the grave. Then she will die, and so must I. Is that a threat? No, not a threat. Stop your whining, Haman. Grow up! You won't listen, even consider? Listen to what? You've done nothing but taunt me with your ideas of wisdom and your infatuation with Antigone. Goodbye, father. Are you just going to let Haman go, Priya? Let him go for his tantrum. We won't save the two girls from their doom. You're going to kill them both? No. Ismini's only guilty of trying to protect her sister. She has broken the wall. Tell us how Antigone will die. She'll be walled up in a cave outside of Thebes. I have left an order for food and supplies to be left. By the, God, by the laws of the gods she so reveres, this ritual prevents her blood from staining the city of Thebes. Are you sure of that? All I can be sure of. She can pray to Hades for all I care. Maybe he will save her. If not, Thebes' hands are clean to the blood of this girl.
I thought there'd be more people here. Am I alone? You're fond of burials. One has been arranged for you outside the city. Take her away. I'm frightened. I didn't think I would be. Haman? Where's Haman? Does he know? I, I need to tell him. I need to explain. I, I wish I could just explain to him. You can't save me from this. I can't ask him to do that. It wouldn't be fair. What are you looking at? Have I just honored thieves and trying to honor my dead brother? No! I'm only guilty of treason against Creon and his politics. When I am dead, I will find out if the gods are angry with me for my actions. I did what I thought was right. How could I be condemned to die? The crimes which you are guilty are passion, passion you, and pride. pride. We can, we can give, give you, you no hope, hope for this life. life. Then I will die. It has already been decided. There's nothing I can do. We all decided what we would do. And we all took actions based on that, those decisions. I have come to be your guide, Creon. The blind guard. <laughs> now we have the private covenant, Creon. Will you listen? How can I always listen? Be careful you do not choke on the, on the tone. You are in danger. Thieves in danger. Danger from what? As I prepared myself for the augury, the sacrificial birds swarmed around me. They were screaming at each other in anger and rage, the fever of battle compelling each to tear up the other to murder a challenge. Their furious screams and terror flesh surrounded me, until sudden, terrible silence fell. Kneeling down, I reached out with my hand and felt the faint heart of one dying bird. I hurried to the altar and attempted to light the sacrificial fires, but no spark would come. The bird convulsed and died in my hand and flies blood, oozing down between my fingers. I received no augury at this altar. You have no augury. How can you counsel me? It is your counsel that has brought sickness on our state. Mine? The altars of our city have been painted. The birds of augury have eaten the flesh of the dead man's and buried corpse. It takes time to muster a force to clean off the battlefield and keep crows and vultures off. The birds have eaten the flesh of the son of Oedipus, a man unjustly condemned. Therefore, the gods will not accept prayer and sacrifice at our hands. Creon, you must allow the burial of Polynices. This seems rather convenient. Whose side are you on? I take no sides, Creon. I understand that you are angry at Polynices for bringing war to our city, but he is dead. You cannot hurt him anymore by refusing to bury his corpse. You can only hurt yourself and thieves. We men, all kings make mistakes. Only a foolish man, a foolish king will claim to a mistake. You it is for your good and against thieves that I speak. You listen to me, old man. I have been a target of soothsayers and prophets all my life. And I tell you now, that arrogant traitor who dared to bring outside army thieves shall never be buried by me. I don't care how many birds eat the stinky flesh off his bones and regurgitate it on your altar. I don't fear any retributions from the god. And even if I believe they care about anything in this realm, any man can buy religion if he drops a few coins in your temple cash box. You refuse to see the truth of what is happening here. And what general truth would you reveal to me now? Out with it! Or do you need me to drop a few coins in your hand first? You are too angry to hear the truth. Your truth or your opinion? Nothing you can say will make me change my mind. Creon, king of thieves, Listen carefully. Sometimes the gods need only wait for you to bring about your own tragedy. One unhallowed sun lies under the hot sun, a rotting corpse of blood steaming across the burning rocks and sand. Very soon another sun, one loved by all, will lay in the dark where no sun can shine. A corpse so chill of blood can only congeal in steel pools. This violence of the two bodies is not the work of the gods, Creon, but has been caused by your actions alone. That is not all, Creon. Very soon, thieves will turn on you. The people bleed on both sides of this civil war. You seek to impose peace on the land, and yet you do nothing to heal the wounds of war. You acknowledge the violent resolution of political wrangling, and yet you ignore the people's anger, and their hatred, and their fear. You restore discipline without restoring calm. 
And in your arrogance, you belittle their need to believe in the gods. You set yourself up as their savior? <laughs> Perhaps I should drop a few coins in your hand, Creon. Now, I'm guilty of firing the last arrow in this war. You know, I don't talk for the life of an ordinary man. One free of the burden of prophecy. In that, I do not have a choice. And now, I feel old. I'm going home. His prophecies frighten me. I've, I've known about, about him since I was very young. young. They always, always said he had to get to see the future. He has never been a false prophet. No, he has never been a bad counsel to us. I remember Oedipus wouldn't listen to him either. I don't know what to do. Whatever I do, I will appear weak, and a weak man cannot be king. Thebes needs a strong king. Son of Menaeuses, a wise man, a strong king, will take wise counsel. What should I do then? Free Antigone and bury her brother. And this is your counsel? You want me to give in to the fears of a, the whims of the mob and a fear of a blind prophet. You must yield your judgment to new wisdom. Your own choices have failed to bring about the peace and stability you desire for your people. And this is your counsel? Very well, I can't fight you all. I bow down to your superior wisdom and insight. That wasn't so hard to say, was it? Hurry! Let him take me go free! Don't wait for others to follow your orders. Do it Let yourself! Be a king! Be a king! Yes, I will go now. Agellius, tell me the servants to ask for shovels. Anything to you to fight and keep me out. He's going, He's going to, to let, let her go! go. Yes! yes! Will, will everything, everything be all right now? Will, will everything, everything be all right now? Of course! Don't, Don't lie, lie to us. us! Really? Do you have to start in again with your arrogance and your foul temper? She, she means well, well, it's just that. Now we don't need time to... Please, can't we just listen to one another? Stop, stop it! Just stop, stop it. it! We still aren't listening to each other. We still believe that only we are right. So we shout and we scream. Listen to me. I'm right. Only me. Until we stop and listen to each other, this will always happen. The story will always end this way. Somebody help me! Something terrible has happened. Haman is dead. Tell me what has happened. My dear queen, I'm afraid to tell you what I saw. You will tell me everything, now! I attended King Creon as we mount towards the caves where Antigone was held. As we passed through the battle caves, Creon noticed the body of Polynices still lay there. He grabbed a shovel and began to dig a trench beside the body. He had ordered us, he ordered some of us to gather wooden spears or branches. Once the trench was deep enough, Creon took the bo body of Polynices into his arms and he laid him into the trench. It looked as if he were tucking a small child into bed. And then he said, now my nephew can rest in peace. And we all cheered. Let's go free my headstrong niece, he said. Nothing you are saying should be a cause for your hysterics. Let him finish. Just as we turned, turned out towards the cave, we heard the most horrifying scream. Creon rushed towards the cave. He just kept on yelling, Haman, Haman. He was able to open a small gap into the cave, and he begged me to climb through and tell him what I saw. Is it Haman? Is it my son? He just kept on saying over and over. I couldn't see anything. I called out for a light, and someone handed me one. And as I turned around, I saw them. What did you see? Tell me! Antigone had hung herself from a root that grew down into the cave from a tree above. She had used part of her dress as a noose. Haman had his arms wrapped around her, lifting, holding her up, trying to loosen the knot that held her. He just kept on saying, just hold on, I'll save you. I promise I'll save you. Creon rushed forward saying, Haman, my poor son, come away. But Haman turned his weapon at Creon. He lunged at Creon, barely missing him. We all rushed forward to help Creon, and then suddenly, Haman turned the weapon in on himself and fell, landing next to Antigone. He had his arms around her. It looked as if he were embracing her, keeping her safe, just like he promised her he would. I didn't know what to do, my queen. Creon just kept on staring at the two bodies. I didn't know what to do. I ran out of that cave and I came back here. Where is she going? Why doesn't she say anything? Follow her. She will not show her grief in public. Yes, that's true. That's all, isn't it? Too late to say. 
save them? Yes, I was too late for that too. What do you mean by that? I was too late to stop the quarrel between the two brothers. Too late to see that my actions wound more than they healed. And too late to listen to those whose counsels may have helped me. And too late to save your wife. What? My lord, I'm sorry, but... What happened? The queen is dead. She... Hell. She stabbed herself. She... Did she say anything to you? Did she? Did she? My lord, she cursed you as the murder of her son. She cursed you as she stabbed herself in the heart. Ah! I wish I could join them. You, you can't. can't. Not, Not yet. yet. You have work to do. Instructions to be given. Other sons to bury. Order to be restored. A kingdom to rule. Then all I can wish for now is a swift end to my time here. No! no you have, have a kingdom to rule. You, you have, have responsibilities. responsibilities. Those responsibilities claim your attention. You must make decisions and take action. When you make a decision and you take action, what if everyone refused to understand your decision, your action? What if your beliefs put you in conflict with the laws of the land? What if your friends, your family, everyone you cared about, begged you to change your mind, begged you to be silent, be safe? What if your life was in danger because of a decision you made, an action you decided to take? Would you be willing to die for that action? Would you handle the responsibility of making that decision, taking that action? I must report the tragedy I have seen. I must convince my father to see reason. I must follow orders. I must love my husband and my son. I must protect Antigone and myself. I must help others see the truth. I must take control and stop this madness. I must, I must bury, bury my brother. brother.